Harry, get in here. First off, the witch is back. Secondly, I didn't mean to abandon you just like your parents did, or like how I literally abandoned you in the fifth movie. It's not a contest, but at least I came back, right? I know it's been a while, but between you and me, I've been on unpaid administrative leave. Oh, the whole castle knows. Well, I tried to be discreet. I guess I shouldn't have shouted all those obscenities and goblin slurs while they hauled me away. Worse, I haven't been able to accrue any more paid time off while on leave, so my fall vacation plans have been completely witched up. Harry, have you ever been on a cruise before? Well, neither have I. And now that's not going to change any time soon. I mean, I could really use a tan. It's like the castle herself just drains us of any color. Sometimes I look at you, lad, and think that I'm staring at a head of cauliflower. I walked past a mirror the other day and thought I saw a ghost. Turns out I did see a ghost, but after he was done grooming himself there, I stood even paler than he. I actually frightened him, if you'd believe it. Speaking of that, I've been gone for half a semester and the ghosts still haven't been, how to put it, busted. You say there's more than ever? Lad, whatever do you mean, Merlin's beard, it's October, isn't it? You know what that means. The candy corn, the cheap plastic masks, the sexy nurses, the scary movies, the sexy maids. Harry, there's more to Halloween than just lingerie disguising itself as legitimate costumes, although between you and me, I've got no complaints. But the supernatural is not something that should be tampered with. And a bikini with a fake plastic devil tail does not make you one of hell's servants, I'm sorry. All I'm saying, lad, this time of year makes me nervous. What if one bikini demon too many finally tips the scales? and the rift between our world and the great beyond opens up. That thought keeps me up at night this time of year. Well, that and the thought of sexy witches. Lad, did I ever tell you about this witch I dated when I was about your age? Boy, did she cast a spell on me. No, I don't mean literally. That joke has been done to death. No, but she put a curse on me when we broke up because my wandering wizard, I fell for another. Turns out she was a statue, so I was heartbroken and hexed. Coincidentally, that's also the name of the third studio album produced by the 80s hair metal band Broom Rider. Anyways, lad, we've got a lot to catch up on.